Some claim it is a test of might. Enemies change. The plan remains the same. Lead with your blade. Never surrender. All that matters is victory. But what if you crave more? For that, let's start over. Seems like I'm the one holding all the cards now. Well played, Captain. You finally landed me. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. I'm after a bigger fish. Your partner. <laughs> that Graves is too smart to walk into a trap. If you think he'd be stupid enough to bash... Let him go and nobody gets hurt. Damn it. Dumb luck is a gift of his. <laughs> oh, is it? Make any more trouble. Okay, you win. So who gets to collect my bounty? Well, by arrangement, we always split 50-50. Nah, hold up, 73rd. What are you talking about? Well, the time, I'm pretty sure I just saved you again, which means I get the well, big hat perfectly under control until you came far. You were upside down like a piece of meat. Hold that shit. Ah! 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 Get your elbow out of my mouth. That is not my elbow. Stop moving! You are a very large man. Shh! 
was that? As promised, two for the price of one. Excellent. Your quarters, master. Oh, thanks, Captain. You're lucky I like you. <coughs> These two will make a worthy sacrifice to the beasts below. Prepare yourselves for 1,000 years of suffering. Hold on a second. Say, what happened? Talk this out. How right? does that even I'm work? Miss I'm going to miss that scene. 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 Don't worry. This isn't your last hand. Let's go before this gets ugly. Looks like the tides of Bilgewater have shifted again, my friend. Get out of here! So long, sea witch! My sacrifice! Find someone else to feed your monster! Stop them! You gotta catch us first, you funny bitch! No! <sighs> Just another beautiful day in Dilgewater. It really is. Answer for what you have done. Yone, turn back. You have dishonored us. You swore to protect him! You swore to protect Ionia. Look around you, brother. Your honor stains the ground. Better than living without it. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, Opa. I didn't mean to. It's all right. Ah, the spirits wait for no one. No, I'm not. Looking to commune? Why else would the great Yasuo come? But are you ready? Does that matter? I'll never make it up there in time. True. The road is long. Perhaps my own temple can still provide a way. The choice is yours. Hmm. Use it. It's taken years for the spirit blossoms to return. If the land is ready to heal, perhaps you are as well. And this is the way? <laughs> Old man, flowers, and hope. Maybe hope is enough. Yeah, maybe. Immerse yourself in the River Whaley. Let the waters cleanse you. Let the currents take this burden you carry. Remember who you have lost. Let me go, Yone! I was winning! Or did you see me take out that big one? I saw you dishonor yourself. You fight? When I have to, not when I want to. 
You don't have anything to prove. There is always another fight, Yasuo. Finding it proves nothing. Your place is here. With Elder Suma, he trained me for this. I can help end this war. Your duty is to this school. To your master. To Ionia. Then I should be out there protecting her. I won't fail you, Yone. It seems I have already failed you. Forge a bond between our realms. A drink rarely gets me out of trouble. Sometimes we must go looking for our demons. Deserve death, but not by my hand. Then there is nothing left for me in Ionia. 
Even the wind has a path, brother. Farewell, Yone. May the spirit of Ionia guide you. It's easier looking back, isn't it? The trick is seeing what lies ahead. From what I hear, most likely thieves, beasts, and drink. It is a lawless place. Where you can decide your own fate. Besides, we're both looking for something, aren't we? And you think we'll find it in Bilgewater? I think we'll find many things.
the Solari will be here soon. And the Lunari already are. I've seen this before. A vision in the pools. When the moon blocks the sun, our path to freedom will be illuminated. At Dragon's Roost. I won't let them tear us apart. No matter the cost. <sighs> There's no path. What do we do? Have faith. There she is! And him? Traitor. Wait! <laughs>
Miami. <laughs> Mr. Tibbers bites the nasty dragon. Ooh, let me! No, he's mine! <laughs> hey! Tibbers is stupid! Huh? <laughs> no, he's not! Give him back! <laughs> you do? She took Tibbers. What is wrong with you? It was an accident. Daisy started it. Oh, did she now? Well, I'm sure she didn't mean to. You'll be playing together before you know it, okay? I promise, Firefly.
Perhaps you're not ready. The black mists are reaching further across the waters every year. I can't let that happen. That is what your father said. I relight the words and come right back. I must do this for him. Go. Hello? Father? and my mercy. That was their mistake. Because now, all I've got left is a cold heart. 
They thrive on doubt. They feast on fear. These wretched abominations blight this world, and every last one of them will perish by my. Impressive, if I do say so myself. Sure is, Professor. But what does it do? Do? The Hextech core generates more energy than a quadranium power cell. The applications are limitless. Would you like to sneak a peek? Boy, would I. Tomorrow, all of Piltover will catch a glimpse of the future. <laughs> Don't you worry, Professor. I'll get it back. But do be careful! You're so pretty! What if I transfer the energy to... <laughs> You jinx for miking me. Oh, no problem, Mr. Sparkles. Now let's start this party. Perfect. <laughs> oh, man. I redirect this. I might get more thrust to. Here goes nothing. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right. Let's see what this thing can do. Whoa! 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor Heimerdinger. I guess I couldn't get it. It's all right, my young apprentice, but this is a most unanticipated outcome. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> what a clever design. Now, what if we adjusted the electromagnetic coils? He could generate enough energy to... Ladies and gentlemen, behold! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the power of addiction! <laughs> Do you ever dream of a life among the stars? <laughs> well, now you can live that dream aboard our magnificent ship, the Morning Star! <laughs> Let's meet the crew. First up is Malphite, big boy with a heart of gold. <laughs> <laughs> We're still working on a stamper. <laughs> then there's Yasuo, our captain. Nothing faces this guy. Watch. Heads up! Your trusty pilot. Also exploded stuff! <laughs> but wait, there's more. We do all kinds of junk, like recreational activities, hands on medical training, and team building. Oh, here's the best part. This beautiful and psychotic assassin wants to annihilate our entire crew. Here's a little mess if you left us. You took what is mine. I will find her, and I... So cool. So, consider this your... Invite to join the greatest crew in the galaxy. The only question now is what are you waiting for? No, 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 come on! No, no. <laughs> so, kid, what do you say? People waste a lot of time. Then they wish for more. Want more hours in their days? More days in their years? More years in their lives? As if they had all that extra time, they could fix any mistake. I don't need hours or days or years. I only need seconds. Here's the thing about time. If you can't make the most out of any given moment, then you don't deserve a single extra second. Stop! You're gonna get us in trouble! Look, I'm 
Jared Crownguard. Might of Demacia. It's over for this monster. <laughs> You're spinning the wrong way. Hmm. Listen, beast. You don't stand a chance against Fior Larox. Watch your guard, though. You think they're ready to join the vanguard? Well, they certainly know the flashy stuff. But seeking glory only goes so far. Will glory be there for every failure? Will glory lift you through all your trials? A true Damasian seeks excellence. So when you face death's terrible jaws, you will not falter! <laughs> Fiora? You want me to sugarcoat it? You keep at it.
over. We have the city. Surrender your crown. End this bloodshed. Mine by birth, granted to me by my royal blood, as are those lands and my, my subjects. You no longer have subjects. Today, they become citizens of Noxus. Rejoice at the end of kings. Noxus offers freedom and fortune for any strong enough to take it. My crown. Returned to me by a slave. Unworthy even to touch it or stand in my presence. <laughs> Don't you see, Noxium? The gods return the crown to me! End this bloodshed? No! The kingdom is mine! Or it is a graveyard! Show them, girl. Die for your king! Go! No. Insolent fellow! <laughs> demand you kneel before their heirlooms and unearned titles. Noxus wants you to stand, so you can be reforged in a glory, shared by all. Outsider destroys the balance of this land. Is this another one of your riddles, old man? A test, perhaps. Hmm? Anoxian. You don't cut guardian trees. I'll teach him a lesson. With your steel? Must be returned. Can't we just bend the rules? He's a kid! Help me! Oh, come on, come on! Sorry, kid, this thing wants your head. A trade.
If you hurt this land, it's gonna hurt you back. Sensei to see your shield. In the Freljord, we all come from the same family. And like all families, we fight. Keep moving! Catch up to the others. We'll hold them off. us apart but we only survive together as a family there is a great power in this world ancients and forgotten. It transformed fields of bare stone into wonders of life and magic. It carved mountains, drained oceans, and burned skies. It never faded. It only grew stronger. Hidden away, waiting to be found. The stronger it grows, the louder it calls.
others seek to claim this power for strength, balance, control. Others say, I can't be trusted. Maybe they're right. But the only power I truly have is the strength to let it go.
Shirima was nothing compared to the tragedy of its rise from the grave. In a market on the edge of the desert, a stranger appears. Cassiopeia, a noble woman of Noxus, looking to hire a guide to take her to the fabled lost city. But not just any guide. She hires the owner of a legendary ancient blade, the mercenary, called Sivir. Sivir gathers her band of cell swords, and they set out into the desert to find the buried bones of Shirima. Five days beneath the broiling sun, a scout spots towers jutting from the dunes, and a stairway leading underground. They climb down into the darkness. Ancient treasures gleam in the torchlight. Even Sivir is astonished at the grandeur of the ruins. Her men head deeper in, only to stumble into traps and be eviscerated. Sivir is stunned. betrays Sivir. She picks up Sivir's blade, puts it into the lock. The Guardian's curse is triggered. The stone serpent comes alive. It pins Cassiopeia in its jaws. The venom sears her flesh like acid. The tomb door opens. Renekton emerges, the brother I love beyond insanity, followed by Zareth, the architect of his torment. My failure is complete. Sivir drags herself away, lifeblood flooding from her wound, and then succumbs to darkness. As Sivir lies betrayed and bleeding, something incredible occurs. For though she does not know it, Sivir is the last in the bloodline of Azir, Sharima's lost emperor. And as her blood soaks into the ancient sands, a deep magic sparks to life. Resurrection. First Azir's mind, then, his body, snatched back from oblivion to be reborn. Then he sees Sivir, wonders at her face. He sees himself in this daughter of Shirima. In that moment, he has no thought of empires or rituals. He only knows she needs his help. He must take her to the oasis of the dawn the mother of life. He smells the waters, smells of life. He praises in time. He does not dream that he, Shirima's greatest emperor, can at long last earn his ascension and bring back his broken city. He dares not dream that if he can save her, Azir, save them all.
Look within yourself. What do you see? Deeper now. What do you see? within yourself what do you see i told you this was a bad deal man ah, shut up and move which way over here
how far we go, we end up here. Beasts raging beneath the framework. Snapping at the cage. One instinct. One command. Hunt. sunken town, a handsome gambler ran, for he owed gold and blood, and yet had none to spare. Desperate and forlorn, he was about to change his path and walk away, when he heard a song that called on him to chance his luck again. Now the singer was a creature with a Biggest mouth the gambler had ever seen. Excuse my song, the monstrous siren said. The tune's purpose was your attention. But I knew you had troubles, and I can offer absolutions. Can you carry me from this bind? The youth asked. <laughs> Boy, the world's one river, and I'm its king. Ain't no place I ain't been. Ain't no place I can't go again. And the price is a minuscule thing. See, I got hungers that ain't easily fed. But those finest tables, they ain't never got a seat for me. So I need men like yourself to let me in. Now the gambler's only hunger was dice and cards. So this bargain, it seemed too easy a price. If you're offering a ticket, the youth finally said, that's a deal I will take. And before another word was spoke, the monster snapped him up and fled. To a faraway land, the gambler was conveyed. At a palace of chance, he was left. Years passed, and love the gambler found. His bride, a princess, and the wedding, none would miss. Now when that hungry beast finally did arise, the family screamed and fought. And although the gambler tried to cast him out, it ate the gifts, and house, and gold. For its hunger, nothing satisfied. Please, not now, not this time. The bride did cry. The beast's response? To her it purred. This hunger's a burden, but it's the last time, I swear. So please, forgive. Now the creature's lies, so melodic and sincere, charmed that bride, and thus she failed to recognize when that demon's jaw unhinged. She screamed just once as I snapped her bones and crushed her limbs. Now that meal, <laughs> it left me satisfied. So cry if you want, boy, cause you had a chance to walk away. Instead, you're the fool, the fool who let me in. Many 
are the grim tales told of the Shadow Isles and the black mist that shrouds them. And while all good folk shun this cursed land, sometimes its darkness comes for you. The black mist ebbs and flows like the tide. Yet now and then, on a night much like tonight, it reaches far across the sea, searching, seeking, killing. This time is known as the Harrowing. During the Harrowing, the spirits of the Shadow Isles go forth within the Black Mist.
what planet, no matter what galaxy, they always look up in wonder. Some fall to their knees and worship. Others hide behind walls and towers. But the thing they do best is beg for mercy. It's just adorable.